We started off very clear this morning with a beautiful sunrise here from Philip Webster around the Midtown area, and that's even a crescent moon there right there. Very beautiful shot. Always enjoy a good moon view. We're looking at a few more cloudy days over the next few days, so it's possibly not going to be quite as good for viewing that moon. Now, if you want to join us in our Facebook group there, ABC 24 Weather Watchers, you can scan that QR code. It'll take you right to your Facebook app on your phone, and any weather photos you get, you can share it with us, and it'll be featured right here on air. Temperatures right now in the 70s across much of the area. 82 still hanging on there in Clarksdale. We're all going to start to cool things down in the next few hours, but we do have a cold front coming in. It's going to bring in some storm chances for us for our Halloween. It's very isolated for severe chances, but still possible we could see some around midday particularly. And then the late showers into the overnight time frame could still linger and we're going to see those clouds sticking around as well. Now we do have those tornado watches I mentioned earlier across parts of the central plain. That's the front that's coming to our neck of the woods, but it's going to diminish in its intensity as it gets to the Memphis area. Take a look here. We're at 8 a.m. And so that's not the peak time for severe weather. It needs to be uh, afternoon heat to really get them going. Unfortunately, it's going to be on the morning side of things, so it'll be a wet start. Maybe a little bit windy. Some of those storms could pack winds upwards of 40, 50 mile per hour winds. Severe winds would be upwards of 60 miles per hour. That is still possible, but we'll still linger with some of those showers into the mid afternoon. Once the front clears through, that should clear out most of our heavy rain chances. But notice there's still pockets of rain on the backside. Some models model this a little bit stronger through our uh, evening time frame. So keep that in mind. You might need to keep that umbrella nearby for any trick or treaters tomorrow evening, especially around sunset. As we head into Friday though clouds will linger. We might see a sprinkle or two here and there. It's not going to be as much for heavy rainfall, but then into the Saturday time frame, we've got a warm front developing and that'll push through into our Sunday and warm our temperatures up rain totals. It's not going to be quite as much as this. I think this model is overdoing it just a bit, but take it down a half inch or so. We're looking at around one to one and a half inches on the higher end and about a half inch for the rest of us. Severe weather is going to be very isolated. If we do see any at all, looking at the storm threats, it's going to be mostly just those uh, severe wind gusts possible and the heavy rainfall. In the meantime, your seven day forecast, we've got those temperatures on the warm side of things uh, as we head into early next week, but we're actually closer to normal here in the next few days, 70s on the way.